Hello and welcome to Craftiosity, the subscription box of modern craft kits. This month we're making an air dry clay mobile, taking inspiration from how natural daylight shows so many tones and subtle differences in shadows on white objects. This project is a lovely one to hang near a door or window so the breeze catches each flute and creates a gentle motion. Inside your kit, you'll find your air dry clay, your yarn, a rolling pin, your modelling tools, your wire hoop, your sandpaper, a little plastic needle and your full step-by-step -step photo instructions with a little something for your pin board. Find a smooth surface to roll out your clay, for example a mat, a smooth tabletop or greaseproof paper and get a small glass of water and a cloth. Using the template on the back of your instructions, trace a circle onto a scrap of paper and cut it out. Using your modelling tools, cut off around a quarter of the clay block and you can store the rest to stop it drying out. Roll the clay into a ball with your hands to warm it up and smooth out any big cracks. Roll out the ball of clay onto your surface using the rolling pin until it's quite thin, around 2mm thick. Lay your circle template on top of the clay and cut around it using the angled end of the modelling tool. If you have a cookie cutter or a glass that's around the same size, feel free to use this as a guide or cutter instead, just clean it thoroughly afterwards. Weed out any uncut clay and roll it into a small ball. Move this and all but one of your circles to the side and place a damp cloth over them to keep them from hardening while you create the first cone shape. Gently fold the circle in half to find the midpoint and very softly press at one edge to mark the centre. Take the tool with the serrated edge and gently stipple the edge of the circle next to the folded midpoint in a cross hatch formation. This will help the surfaces to stick together. Then flip your circle over from front to back and keeping the midpoint in the same area, repeat the stippling in the same area again. Dip your finger in the glass of water and moisten the stippled section. Then lift the bottom of the circle up and moisten the original stippled section too. Carefully roll your circle into a cone by curling the stippled section on the underside over to meet the stippled section on top. The top of the cone should be tightly curled and the bottom of the cone very loosely curled. Place your finger inside the cone and rotate it until the seam is facing up. You might need to hold the sides together. Try to do this without distorting the cone shape. Check there's a hole at the tip of the cone. It needs to be large enough to pass the eye of the plastic needle through. If you need to make it larger, use the needle to enlarge the hole, or you can re-roll your cone if it's much too large. Select the sharp, thin edge of your tool and gently score across the outside seam of the cone. Drag the clay across to help secure the seam and knit the sides together. Repeat this on the inside seam. Then using the back of the curved part of the tool or your finger, moisten the outside seam and smooth over the section you just scored. Try and smooth the surface as much as possible without distorting the cone's shape. You can leave the inner side as it is. We're now going to smooth out the larger base of the cone. Using your finger and a little water or the damp cloth, smooth around the rim. Flatten any rough parts and gently curve excess clay inside the cone. Repeat this process until you have 18 cones which look something like this. Remember to keep any circles you aren't working on under a damp cloth, and if you run out of any circles, cut more clay from the block as and when you need it. Now pinch and roll 18 small balls around 1 to 2 cm in diameter and use the needle to make a hole in the middle. Make sure the hole is as wide as the eye of the needle. Ensure the beads are also small enough to fit inside your cone shapes. Now leave your clay pieces to dry at room temperature for around 12 to 24 hours. Rotate your cones once or twice in the first few hours to avoid getting flat edges. When they're dry, your clay will have turned from grey to fully white, be rock hard to the touch and have no damp hatches. 
Take your sandpaper from the box and cut or tear it in half widthways. Picking up your rolling pin, tightly roll one piece of the sandpaper around it to create a sanding block. Gently sand all the clay pieces, focusing on any dents, nicks or rough patches. Sand up and down the length of the cone and flat across the base and the top. Make sure your working space is well ventilated and you're sanding away from you when you do this. Aim for a smooth finish, but don't sand the seams too much as you might undermine the join. Gently sand the beads too. Take your ball of yarn and, unwinding from the loose end, cut 18 strands of yarn that are 200 centimetres or 2 metres long, and then cut 3 strands that are 60 centimetres long. We'll start by attaching the 18 longer pieces. Find the midpoint on one of your 2 metre lengths of yarn by folding it in half and creating a small loop in the middle. Bring your white hoop in and we'll attach the yarn using a lark's head knot. To do this, place a small yarn loop under the hoop, then bring it over the top of the ring. Take the two ends of the yarn underneath through the loop you've created and pull to create a knot. Repeat this for all 18 longer lengths of the yarn. Now take the three 60 cm lengths of yarn and attach them to the hoop in the same way, spacing them out so there's six longer lengths in between each 60 cm one. They'll look something like this. Knot these three shorter lengths together above the hoop, creating a small loop as you tie them. You'll use this to hang the mobile. Bring nine of your longer lark's head knots around to one side of the hoop and arrange the strands flat on your table. Tuck the other nine strands and the three hanging strands out of the way. We'll attach your clay pieces next. Select nine clay cones and nine beads. We're going to attach these in a waterfall pattern with the first cone 30 centimetres down from the hoop and the final cone four centimetres down. Place your cones out to get a feel for how they will be laid out. You might want to mark your placement using a pencil on the yarn. We'll start from the right hand side with the clay cone that will be 4 cm down. Thread the first strand with two ends of yarn onto the needle and insert it into the cone from the top to bottom so the cone is the correct way up. Now insert the needle into a bead from top to bottom and then down through the top of the bead again to secure. Your bead is adjustable at this stage, so if your placement is off, loosen the yarn around the bead and move it up or down. We'll do a final knot once we've placed all 18 cones. Attach 8 more cones and beads in the same way and place them so they're evenly spaced from top to bottom. Repeat this pattern across the next nine strands, so the highest cone of the new section is hanging next to the lowest cone of the original nine strands. When all 18 pieces are attached, hold your hoop up and space out the strands around the hoop evenly. Check you're happy with the placement and adjust if needed. To finish, lift each cone and create a firm double knot at the top of each ball. Trim the yarn to one centimetre and pull each cone back down to hide your knots. Repeat on all the clay balls and your mobile is complete. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we look forward to welcoming you to the next project next month.